Hey guys, how's it going? This is Silpha Lockpicker here, and welcome back to this week's live stream. This is a fun video series I do every single Saturday, and what it is is an update video where I can update the community on anything that I have been working on, and it also serves as a great place for the community to update everyone on what they have been working on. As always, if you have any updates at all that you would like to see shared next week, please feel free to drop those right in the comment section below. And I would really love to try to share them with everyone. This is such a fun series to run every single week. And I really enjoy being able to interact with everyone and see what everyone's updates are throughout the week. So the first thing I'm going to do today is I'm just going to be starting off with a little bit of a different setup. I'm trying a setup with a different camera. And I'm hoping that that is going to work very well. So I'm going to share that with you in a few minutes. And I'd just like to start off by seeing everyone that's been able to make it back into the chat. So I'm going to bring the chat up right now and we can see who's able to make it. So thank you to 11 Oroko's Luck Picks, Coxie's Picks, Luck Sport Viking, Tamir, Medini, and Fanto LP. So today I don't have anything specific to show, but I am going to show some random channels, unless anyone has anything that they would like to share. But the, the Panda Frog, thank you for stopping in as well. Um, but the one thing I'd like to share, which I'll show you right now, and I am working on getting the setup to work better. I just only have one USB 3.0 connection on my computer at the moment, so I am getting a splitter that's powered, so I'll be able to hopefully run both cameras at the same time. But as you can see right here, which I'm going to bring up for you, is I have my GoPro Hero 8 Black hooked up to my computer, and I can use that for live streaming in different angles. I have not played with any of the settings. I have not tried to do an ideal setup for the view. No lighting, just sort of point and shoot and set it up just right before I did this, and I thought this would be pretty cool. So I think this will be a fun thing to play with to be able to get some different angles for videos and also be able to better augment my live stream. So I'm going to bring up the chat right here. And I was just wondering if anyone's interested and they would like to see a key cut today, I could try to do that with this machine. Um, this is my HPC Blitz 12. It's a pretty cool machine and it's very fun to use. Keys that they'd like to see cut, um, feel free to leave that right in the comment section and I'd be able to do that. Just running into a little technical issue for a second there. But, so in the meantime, what I'm going to do is let's do what I've been doing the last few weeks and find a few channels at random to share. So how I like to do this is I will go over to my Excel sheet that I have. And then we're going to go through a random number generator and we're going to pick a channel at random. But before they do that, I'm going to say... Would anyone like to see me cut a key with my GoPro? And I'll wait to see a response on that. So what I'm going to do now is let's pick a random a channel at random. And let's see who we're able to find. This is always kind of fun to do. So I'm going to bring up the random number generator in front of you right here. And we'll find... Oh, but what I'm going to type right now is what would you like to see cut? Maybe something basic like quick set, Schleg, Yale, American, or Master Lock. All right. And now that we have this brought up in front of us here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this random number generator so we'll be able to pick a channel. 
So I just got the number 125. Now, if you remember from my Excel sheet, they're going to all be numbered, and we'll be able to find out who number 125 is right now. So I'm going to open up my Excel sheet on my screen, and you can see it right here as we scroll down. Now, looking for number 125 is going to be Keith Dean. And uh, I can't remember if this is a channel that has had um, their name changed or not. No, that is still Keith Dean. And let me bring up this channel for you right now. I'm just going to pop that right into the um, URL bar and I will get Keith Dean's channel brought up. And just looking at this right now, this is not a channel I'm familiar with, so this would be pretty cool to check out. So I have Keith Dean's channel brought up right now, right here, so everyone can check it out. And um, 11 Oroco Lockpicks is voting for American Lock. What would you like the bidding to be? one through eight for a five pen key with a max of four. All right, so while we do that, let's take a look at this channel while I wait for everyone to respond. All right, so Keith Dean, 83 subscribers, joined in 2011, but it doesn't necessarily mean that's when the Locksport part started. A uh, handful of videos, got a package from Texas Gem three years ago. I haven't heard from Texas Gem in a long time. Um, I don't know if Texas Gem's still making videos, but that would be interesting. Um, the last video, a great package from Apache Lux Sport. Haven't heard from Apache in a while either. Um, but the last video was two years ago. So let's see what we can, which video we can do. Um, how about a Daz Evers challenge lock? I think that would be pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to get this video ready to play for you guys. Get this video ready to play for you right now. And then we can check it out together. Right. I've got a Daz Evers lock here. It's a uh, mortar cylinder. It's a Miko on the front. Y1 key. Let's see that. I got this from a package from Bobby Keys a little while back. Thank you, Bobby Keys. I appreciate all the locks you sent and all the picks I got. I've been using them suckers pretty regular when I can. I haven't been doing a whole lot of picking lately. This is actually my second attempt on this. I got two minutes into picking and ran out of memory, so. Deleted a few things on my phone and hopefully I can get this video pretty quick before I run out again. Now I'm using a pry bar on the uh, top of the keyway, a Peterson pry bar, and this Bobby Keys pick right here. These picks have an amazing feel to them. Come on, five. Three. Go on one and turn on the core. Let's move this a little. I kind of like to pick it about a 90 degree angle. It's a little more comfortable for my wrists. I haven't been putting out a whole lot of videos lately. I've been very busy. Busy at work and I'm just getting over the flu. Alright, so that made my mouse disappear for a second there. But I think that that was a good little introduction to his channel. And I am now seeing that we were able to get a few suggestions up for the key. So 
Let me um, bring up his channel one more time so we can just take a quick look at it and then we can cut that key. So I'm going to bring up Keith Dean one more time for everyone right here. So let's go over back to Keith Dean's channel. Now if you enjoyed what you saw and you'd like to show some support, it never hurts to hit the subscribe button. Subscribing may not help in this situation because he's not making videos, but it is a really nice thing to do to show your support to someone within the community. But what I'm going to do now is let's bring back the chat. And just looking through the chat while that video was playing, I saw that Panda Frog recommended a um, key bidding. So what I think would be fun to do would be an American Lock AM3 key. Um, and Panda Frog said 3522462, but thought we were going to do a six pin at the time. So let's just cut off the two at the end and we'll do 35246. And we can cut that together. Um, I want to make sure that I do this a, bit, a little bit more early on in the video. If anyone's ever owned a GoPro, you know that the batteries don't last, and I don't have it hooked up to a USB 3.0, so I cannot charge through it, so I do need to run through the battery. So the GoPro does seem like it is still going. Let me just uh, go over there quickly and just make sure that the video is still live. and it does appear to be working pretty well. So what I'm going to do is let's pick a, another channel to look at and while the video is running I will get this all set up. So does anyone have a channel that they would like to recommend or would you like to do this at random? Let's see, does anyone... And I'll give everyone a few minutes to think about that if they have a channel that they'd like to share or I could do it at random but either way let's see all right I'm just gonna go with the first one lock picking mechanic sure let's let me try to find lock picking mechanic for you guys and I can let's see Alright, is there a, does anyone have a, a direct link to the channel? The, um, this looking for lock picking mechanic, um, isn't popping up when I search it directly. Let's see. Um, you know, until we can get, get that sorted out, I don't know why. I copied and pasted what Coxie's picks shared directly into the search bar. And I can show show everyone what is, what's popping up. Like, even my channel's popping up. So, I, I'm not exactly sure, but I'll just show you for example right here. Let's see. So, I typed in lockpicking mechanic and you know, this is what's showing up. Third video down is me. So maybe we can scroll down and see if we can find them. But I am not seeing it. But this is a, another example of why subscribing to channels and showing your support to everyone is very helpful because it helps you pop up higher in the search algorithm and it's an important thing to do to help the community thrive and help everyone's great content get out there. But what I'll do for now is let's just do another random one and we can kind of go from there. Um, let's see. All right, so we're going to do the random number generator is 171. And 171, we will find out who that is right now. Lone Wolf Lockpicking. 
Alright, so let's bring up lone wolf lock picking. Hmm. Alright, so lone wolf lock picking, I will bring that up for you right now. And here is Lone Wolf's Lockpicking. I'm not familiar with this channel either. But 144 subscribers, April 4th of 2013. And let's see, we got a 10 minute video here. We're picking a simple dimple lock, a smiley dimple lock, I'm sorry. So, yeah, we can do that one. So, last video two years ago. And we can see what, what his channel is all about. So, Let's get that loaded up for you guys right now so we can take a look together. Hey guys, how's it going? Lone Wolf Lock Picker here. Just wanted to jump on and make a uh, Stock Lock Sunday video. Now, I am cheating a little bit because this is a uh, just a cheap, I call it a smiley lock. I'm not sure the technical term for it. I'll show the bidding real quick. There's the bidding. But I have put security pins, just standard uh, commercial security pin uh, spool and uh, serrated, I believe. It's been a while since I did it. But this would have been a very, very, very short video if I would have left the uh, cheap Chinese pins in it that was in it when I bought it. So we're going to go ahead and try to get this picked and then we will gut to see what I did put inside. Click on three, let's on four. Click on five, click on four, got a little movement. Click on two, got a little more movement. Another click on two, and we got an open. So it looks like this might be a short video either way. <clears throat> All right, well, thanks for checking him out. And I think that was a pretty quick pick, and that was pretty cool to share with everyone. So what I'm going to do is bring up Lone Wolf Lock Picking's channel for you one more time and then we can move on to cutting the key so right in front of you here is lone wolf slot picking if you enjoyed what you saw you'd like to show some support might not be making videos right now as it looks but subscribing never hurts and can be a really great thing so what I'm going to do now is let's see who's still in the chat and then we can cut over to making that key and I think that will be a pretty cool thing to do so let's see my mouse is going a little bit crazy here for some reason hold on all right so let's see it's good to see Brian Field, Coxie's Picks, Roy R. Roy R. Panda Frog, Bears Back so let's get that key cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an American Lock AM3 key to 35246 as specified by Panda Frog. The audio is going to be coming from my camera, that my main camera from across the room. So it might not be super loud, but that's not extremely important. I'll bring the chat box up so we can have the chat up. And let's get to making that key. So I'm going to walk over right now. And 
The one thing you don't want to forget when you're making a key is your safety goggles, which I will put on right now. So it might be a little bit far away, but here is my generic American lock key. I am going to make sure my jaw is going to be all the way over. I'm going to get my clamp. I'm going to get the shoulder stop. We're going to make sure that the key is a proper, appropriately spaced. We're going to secure it with the jaw, put the shoulder stop down. I have the correct card out for the American lock. I have the right blade on, which is going to be the 1011. And then we're going to get to cutting this key. So we want to move over to space one. I'm going to turn the machine on, and we'll get cutting. Five, two, four, six. Alright, so we are back. Hopefully that looked alright. I'm going to cut back to our main video here. Leave the chat up. And then we will take a look at this key. All right. All right, so here's the key that we just cut. 35246. Here's the code card. And here are my calipers. So, one fun thing we can do is we can measure and see the cuts. This goes along with my most recent video um, that I posted earlier this week. So, a three cut, as we're going to see on here, is going to be 0.253. So, for the first position, about 0.2540. All right, and then for the next one's going to be a 5.222.2235. A number two cut is going to be 0 0.2660. 0 0.2660 is what I'm getting. Then a number four cut is going to be 0.237, and then the six cut is going to be 0 0.206, 0 0.2070. So pretty good job. I had my head back a little bit on these manual cutting code cutting machines. It is sort of operator dependent that you line up everything right on the depths. So I wasn't 100% on the mark each time, but still very, very good. And this key would work very smoothly. But either way, guys, that's all I really have this week. I just want to say that that was a pretty cool thing to share. And if you have anything at all that you would like to see shared next week, I highly encourage you to share it in the comment section below. And I would really love to try to share it with everyone next week. 
But I just want to say this is a fun video series to run every single week. And I encourage everyone to share and just get involved in the community. It's a really fun thing to do. But either way, guys, I think that's all I'm going to have um, for this week. So if you have any questions or suggestions, as always, please feel free to leave those right in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more like it, please consider subscribing. Every subscription makes such a big difference, whether it's to me or one of the smaller channels. I just want to say thank you to helping support all of the great members of this really fun community. But that's all that I have for you, and I just want to say that this was a fun video to make. It's always fun being part of these community videos. I just want to hope that everyone's going to have a great day. But that's all I have, and I hope everyone has a great weekend and stay safe, and I'll see you the next time.